Hey guys, I'm Leela from Ukulele Therapy, and today we're going to talk about music therapy and depression. So we all know music makes us feel better, but can it decrease symptoms of clinical depression? We'll go over some research, and then we'll talk about some practical things that music therapists do to help decrease symptoms of depression. Here's what the research says. In one study, 79 participants received either individual music therapy plus standard care or just standard care. Participants who participated in both music therapy and standard care showed a significantly higher response rate than those only in standard care. Another study took 30 older adults with a depression diagnosis and placed them into either a home-based music therapy program, a self-administered program with weekly phone calls with a music therapist, and a group with no interventions. And you guessed it, the scores of the group receiving music therapy were significantly higher and maintained these results over a nine-month follow-up period. These are just two of many research studies showing how music therapy has been used to decrease depression. I put the links in the description if you want to read more into them. And I actually did my own little study when I interned at a behavioral hospital as a music therapist, where I asked the clients about their mood and thoughts and things before the group and then after the group. And there was a significant increase in mood. Not that this is an official study, um, but I just thought it was interesting. That was something that I kind of experienced on my own. So why and how does it work? So we see that music therapy can decrease symptoms of depression, and there might be a couple of reasons for this. So let's start by looking at some common symptoms of depression. Trouble with memory and concentration, fatigue, feelings of guilt, worthlessness, and helplessness, pessimism and hopelessness, a loss of interest in activities, physical discomfort, and feeling sad or empty. Now let's look at each symptom and see how music can address each one. Improving memory and concentration. Music has been shown to activate the hippocampus, which is the memory center. Fatigue. Music can be very energizing and motivating. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, and helplessness. Music can help improve self-esteem as it can be motivating, but also just the act of creating something, just accessing parts of us that can make something creative and cool. Singing in a choir, being in a group, and creating something together. That can really improve our sense of worth and self-esteem. Physical symptoms like stomach aches and headaches and body aches. Music has been shown to relieve and distract from pain. Feeling sad or empty. Music can lift our mood and connect us with others when we participate in group musical activities. And I think connection and relating to others can really help decrease those feelings of loneliness, emptiness, or sadness. Now I'm definitely not saying that music therapy is a cure-all for depression, but if we look at the symptoms and we look at what music does in our brains, it really makes sense that it can help decrease the severity of the symptom. And music therapy is also not a one-size-fits-all treatment. It typically works better alongside other treatments like psychotherapy and medication. But I do think music therapy is a really great option for a lot of people because it is so multifaceted and addresses a lot of different things. And it can also be more effective for certain people and resonate more with certain people than others. If you think about it, when someone's depressed, they don't have a lot of energy. Nonetheless, talk about your depression or think about ways to help with depression. That in itself can feel overwhelming and burdensome. But music can sort of be a gateway or a buffer in between the individual or the therapist or even the individual and their depression. And it can also make things a little easier to manage because it's more fun, it's more abstract, it acts as your heart and emotions, but also your mind. So there you have it, some reasons how music therapy can be helpful for depression. I hope this was helpful and as always please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I make them every week and they're about music therapy, expressive arts, just therapy in general, self-development, all that good stuff. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.